of Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with Amelia Henderson. Okay, I showed this off earlier in the show today, but I just wanted to show it one last time for those of you who are just now tuning in. This is a viewer photo. We've got lots of very talented viewers around central Illinois. This is one of them. This is Wendy Dexter who sent this in. This is a photo of a dandelion with some frost with the sunrise early this morning. Just absolutely gorgeous. So had to show that off one last time here. But looking at the satellite and radar right now, this is a live view. You can see a little bit of cloud cover is building in from the west. Still areas of central Illinois are seeing lots of sunshine here. So try to enjoy it. This may be the last day until the weekend where things get a little bit more gloomy for us. Temperature Wise, we're a little bit more average now. We're at 50 degrees now in Champaign, 51 in Danville, 52 in Petersburg, 50 in Paris, 50 also in Watsika. So ranging from the upper 40s to low 50s right now, but we'll continue to climb. We're going to be in the low 60s by the afternoon hours by about 3 p.m. before we fall off to the 40s by later on this evening. The good news is those temperatures will actually be feeling what they're actually reading at because the winds not bad today. They're pretty calm for central Illinois, anywhere from the north, 5 to 10 mile per hour wind gusts. So really not too bad there. Looking at your forecast planner for the rest of the day here, as I mentioned, you still might need a light jacket. Later this afternoon, temperatures are only going to be low 60s. So still a little bit on the chilly side. Not too bad, though, compared to where we were about a day or two ago. So partly cloudy skies. Things will clear up a little bit heading towards the early afternoon before more clouds build in by later this afternoon. And evening. Now, tonight, this is when things change. Low pressure will be developing, so we are going to be seeing some scattered showers mainly towards the southern half of the viewing area. We'll be starting out late tonight and into the early hours of tomorrow morning with temperatures staying mild tonight, but not warming up all that much for the weekend here. So we're going to be at 55 degrees on Saturday. Again, those scattered showers will be during your morning hours. Then you'll get a little bit of a break. The majority of your day Saturday is actually looking to be relatively dry. So if you do have any outdoor plans, need to run errands, whatever it might be, you can still do so definitely during the day there. Still some scattered showers are in the forecast for Sunday, but they are going to be very light. So again, if you do need to be active, need to be outdoors, you're still going to have the chance to do that. But keep in mind, it's going to be a little bit cooler for the weekend before we do rise back to normal here, at least for Monday. It's not going to last long, though, because then we fall back off to around 49 degrees as a cold front does move in and bring more showers for Tuesday there. So looking at future track, timing things out. Again, we have the winds from the north, pretty calm today. A little bit of a break from the cloud cover here right around lunch hour, but then it builds back in. Very gloomy by later on tonight. 3 a.m. now for tomorrow morning. That's when these scattered showers do move on into the area. And then we are going to get a break, as I mentioned. The majority of your Saturday, not looking too bad. Now stick around. I'll have your seven-day forecast after this.